The United States has suspended most financial assistance to the Central African country of Gabon in response to August military takeover. The United States has conducted that a military coup d'etat has taken place in Gabon. State Department spokesman Matthew Miller said in a statement released Monday. Miller said the aid had been temporarily paused since September 26th. Miller said all humanitarian health and education assistance to Gabon will continue. A group of army officers led by General Brice Crotel Origuido Nguema, chief of the Republican Guard, placed President Ali Bongo under house arrest on August 30th and seized power. General Nguema was designated president of a committee aimed at eventually returning power to a civilian government. The mutinous soldiers announced the coup on national television just moments after the nation's elections committee commission declared that Bongo had won a third term in general elections held just days before. Bongo first took office in 2009 after the death of his father Omar Bongo who had ruled the oil producing country for the previous 42 years. Opponents say the family has failed to share the country's oil and mining wealth with its 2.3 million people. Jude Devamont, a special assistant to U.S. President Joe Biden, met with Nkwema and military appointed Prime Minister Raymond Ndong Sima last week in the capital de Breville to discuss a path forward on restoring democracy in Gabon. Gabon State TV reported that Nkwema reiterated after the meeting he will return power to civilian rule at the end of the transition, but he did not announce a time frame. The United States reforms our commitment to support Gabon in conducting a timely and durable transition to democratic civilian government, Mira said this in, in his statement. He will resume our assistance alongside concrete actions by the transitional government towards establishing democratic rule.